is my privilege to announce that the Blackwater Lodge is now reopened for business. Oh, well, very nice. Congratulations. of the black water Martin, what you doing? Signing up for the Torrington Tough Enough Club. They do waterfall climbing, triple triathlons, <laughs> grizzly boxing, you know, tough stuff. Stuff you wouldn't be interested in. Oh, really? And why wouldn't I be interested? Well, you know. <gasps> I know? What do I know? What's the problem? Uh, hmm. Well, how, how can I put it? Because you're a wimp. <gasps> a wimp? Are you kidding? Please, I'm as tough as you are any day. Excuse me, but aren't you the same person who had Java open her nail polish jar this morning? Ugh. That wasn't nail polish, it was cuticle strengthener, which as everybody knows is a highly adhesive substance. <laughs> well, whatever you say, Di. The center, it's coming from under the step. Stand back, <gasps> I'll lift it. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, but I can move it just fine by myself. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I did it! In your face, Martin. Hi, Diana. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Come on, let's get moving before Diana embarrasses herself any further. One mystery cleared. Diana Lockhart cleared. Jada the Caveman cleared. Hey guys, Billy, my man, hit me! <laughs> Billy, hit Java. <laughs> I can do secret handshakes too. Give me five, Billy. <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> Looks like I need a little practice. Oh, uh, look! Here we are. Too, because I was thinking we could team up and. Whoa, hey, it was just a simple question. No need to get all testy. Don't take it personally, Martin. Amber's not from around these parts. She's a creature from the Omega Nebula. They have the ability to cloak themselves as humans. If it wasn't for their bad manners, you'd never know the difference. <laughs> Sounds a little like Martin. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? 
I want you to investigate the haunting of a resort lodge near Vancouver. You mean an old-fashioned ghost? Ah, oh, I love the classics. Classic scams, you mean. I smell a big-time hoax. Hmm, that's why I'm sending you to find out the truth. Billy? This way, guys. Don't even think about it, Martin. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're finally here. My name is Susan Bridges. I'm the manager here at Blackwater Lodge. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. So, what kind of ghost you got? Poltergeist? Screamer? Headless? Zombie? Ectoplasm? Who? I'm not sure. All I know is that there's been some strange occurrences over the past few days. Oh, what kind of occurrences? Things disappearing, strange noises, doors and windows opening and closing on their own, and some guests claim to have heard an old Victrola playing music. Huh? What's so weird about that? It's been broken for years. <gasps> okay, now we're talking. Look. I want this mystery solved quickly and quietly. It's the first week of business, and it could make or break the lodge. Anything else? Um, there is one more thing. Wow. Awesome. Looks like the ectoplasmic residue left by an angry spirit. Either that or a housekeeping effort gone terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My partner has a very active imagination and an awful sense of humor. Anyway, a slime scan should tell us more about our mystery goo. Right, Martin? Right. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Sample is of unknown composition. Slime scan inconclusive. That could have been more helpful. <laughs> Something smelled funny. You're right, Jav. Something does smell funny. And it's not Martin this time. <laughs> it smells like tobacco. Huh. Huh. Hmm. It's been used recently. That's odd, considering the library is always locked and I have the only key. Well, who does this pipe belong to? Phyllis Blackwater, the last manager. This was his favorite room in the lodge. Maybe he's responsible for all the weird happenings. Old employees sometimes carry grudges and he probably still has keys. That's impossible. He passed away over a hundred years ago. <gasps> Come on! Watch. One of the guests must have dropped it. On the ceiling? Look, the initials say PB, as in Phyllis Blackwater. This watch must have been his. PB could stand for a lot of things, Martin. Like Peter Benchley, or Paul Bunyan, or Pearl Bailey. Oh, yeah? Look behind you! <gasps> I'm afraid. 
afraid there's something I haven't told you. We had a ceremony opening night, and that picture fell off the mantel and broke. Then the windows just blew open. Like something trapped in the photograph was released? What are you talking about? Well, photos have always been linked to paranormal activity. Many cultures even believe that a camera can steal your soul, imprisoning it within a picture. So? So, Phyllis must have had his soul trapped in the photograph. It escaped when the glass was broken. It makes total sense. <laughs> yeah, if you're a total lunatic, it's obviously a hoax. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of it. Well, you'll have to get to the bottom of it alone, because I've had enough. <laughs> Is it me? Or did this place just get ten times creepier? Java have bad feeling about this. Relax, guys. I'll call Billy and ask her for some background info on Phyllis. No need. <laughs> wow. That was fast. Exactly why I've won the center's eager beaver award three years running. Anyway, I found out that old Phyllis wasn't only the manager. He part owned the Blackwater. And that is until his business partners turned on him and the bank foreclosed on his mortgage. No wonder he's angry. But Phyllis loved this place more than anything else in the world and refused to leave, even after they shut off the heat. <laughs> When they came to check on the joint, they found Phyllis frozen solid in the ballroom, sitting in front of a camera. Probably the same old camera I landed on earlier. And let me guess, that creepy old photo in the ballroom was found in that camera? Ding, 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 ding. Give the lady a prize. Well, at least now we know what we need to do. Catch Phyllis' spirit and get it back in the photograph. And just how are we going to do that? <sighs> This isn't working. Why can't one of you guys be the bait? It doesn't have to be you. I just thought you were tough enough. But if you're chicken, Java will do it. Right, Java? No way. Java not stupid. I'm tougher than both of you combined. That's what I wanted to hear. Now, uh, go be more, uh, bait to E. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when he does that. Hello, Mr. Blackwater? I have some things that belong to you. Okay, well, I guess if you don't want them, I'll just have to throw them away. <laughs> uh, Mr. Blackwater, sir, I wasn't really gonna throw your stuff away. I just wanted to get your attention. Honest. <laughs> That's our cue. Ah! Whoopsie, <laughs> my bad. Martin, get me out of this thing right now! Hey, where'd our ghosty go? You'll die. Are you okay? You look kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> Just ripped my favorite shirt. Not shirt, Diana! Oh, you mean the whole possession thingy? Ah, don't sweat it. All we gotta do is suck the spirit of Phyllis back out of her. How? Simple. I take her photo. Trust me, Job. Diana will be her old wimpy, can't open her own nail polish self in no time. Alpha goggles selected. Alpha goggles selected. Yoo hoo! Little Miss Tough Enough, time to smile pretty for the camera. <laughs> uh, not exactly the attractive pose I was looking for, but it'll do. Ha! I got you in your face, Diana! I don't think it worked, Martin. Judging by the freaky new updo and the sudden ability to levitate, I'd have to agree with you, Joff. Come on, let's get out of here. I think we 
you're safe. <laughs> but not out of the clear. Not until I figure out why my little camera trick didn't work. Maybe camera broken? The camera works fine. Wait a minute. Ugh. Sitting in front of a camera. The camera! Duh! We have to use the original. But original in ballroom. Hey! Did Jaffa no like music? Can't say I blame you there. Whoa, check it out. Is it Diana? No, something even scarier. A spontaneous redecorating job. Funky. It's like the room's changed back to how it looked in Phyllis's time. Like the lodge is coming alive. Remembering what it was like. Java scared. Don't be. Hmm. Uh, now we've got the secret weapon that's gonna squash our specter. And I think I know just where she is. library was Phyllis's favorite room, which means Diana's probably pretty fond of it, too. Plus, she's a book geek by nature. Where else would she hang? Martin Wright. Smart. Thanks. Now we have to be really quiet if we want to sneak up and snap her picture. Java promise. No make sound. to work too. Your possessing days are over, Phyllis. Now, Java! <laughs> it didn't work. Again! How can that be? <laughs> Look, if you're still angry about the wimpy comment, I'm sorry. You're tough, Doc. It's just in your own special way. This lodge is mine! Yes! I think we better do what the lady says. Java? He fainted. Huh? But what could make a caveman faint? Ah! 
ask a stupid question? Nowhere to run! <laughs> Time's the charm. Help! Help! <gasps> What's going on? Help! Diana! <sighs> we should get you inside before you get hypothermia. What am I doing out here? You should probably ask him. Team, but I'm shutting this place down. It's just too dangerous. Yeah, this lodge has a way of getting inside you. <laughs> Is that another one of your goofy jokes? What? Oh, no way. I'm not gonna mess with you anymore. Diana, tough. Yeah, much tougher than I ever thought. You came through a classic possession better than any guy I've ever seen. You can join the Tough Enough Club anytime you want. <laughs> Please, like I would join your stupid group. I've had enough of all this tough stuff. I'm taking a weekend off for rest and relaxation. Really? Now let's get out of here. I'm in serious need of a hot bubble bath. and do the soul cat. Why can't you guys dance? Because I have inoperable hemorrhoids. Ow! Sabrina the Teenage Witch tonight at 8.30.